what is front end and back end in any development any kind of development so i'll just explain you suppose this is a mobile screen okay so whatever we see written in the, as a text or as a user interface that is the front end part and when we uh, suppose click a button or refresh the screen so whatever happens in the uh, back end whatever happens that we cannot see suppose uh, we have a page it says username password and a login button so when we hit the login button and we uh, get to the next screen so the next screen also includes a, some user interface so that is the front end of the next screen and the process by which uh, we get to the next next screen is called the back end of the uh, development okay so for, uh, front end the front end of a software program or a website is everything with which the users in user interact so uh, from a user standpoint the front end is a synonymous of user interface whatever i am interacting with is front end from a developer standpoint the interface design and programming that makes the function in interface so uh, the design of the uh, of the user interface or the interface uh, function and the program that makes the interface function is the front end okay i hope that's clear so the element of front end includes what what does front end include the front end includes application or the page layout so the layout of the application the text content present in the application the images the graphics present in the application the user interface of elements such as button toolbar edit text edit text is the uh, you have you seen the block right uh, to enter the email so that call that is called the edit text we will uh, look into more as, as you proceed through the course the themes and the customization these all are the part of front end so what is back end in the computer world the back end refers to any part of website or software program that users do not see what i do not see is the back end it contrast with the front end so it goes side by side with the front end which refers to the programs website programs or websites user interface the front end okay in programming technology the back end is the data access layer while the front end is the presentation layer so what it means is uh, the presentation layer is like what what is presented is the front end and the accessing of data like when i entered the email or the password the data is accessed so that is the back end what is the back end processes the back end processes includes processing request when a button is clicked so when i click the button the request which are processed comes in back end part the encrypting and decrypting of data the accessing uh, accessing data from a database so uh, when i uh, enter my user id and password the data is encrypted and then the data is checked from the database so uh, the data is accessed from the database and uh, matched if if there is a match or not uh, storing and uploading the data to the database so when i uh, create a new account or sign on to a particular website we uh, store the data data to the database so these all comes in the back end part so what are what is front end and back end in android app development so the language used i am mainly talking about c++ java and kotlin can be used for the back end part and xml is used for the front end part in android app development so we will use kotlin in this training so why we will use kotlin in this training is a uh, kotlin is a cross platform stat statistically type general purpose programming language with type inference i will explaining all these term later so just hang on kotlin is designed to incorporate fully with java and the jvm version of kotlin's standard library depends on the java class library so uh, just sit tight for these terms in may 2019 google announced 
that the Kotlin programming language is now preferred language for Android app developers. So, Kotlin is a preferred language. So, uh, we will look into basic syntax of Kotlin. So, the basic syntax of Kotlin looks like fun main. It is a function, and the name of function is main, and then it is there is open and close parenthesis, and the function opens. It is like print Helen print ln hello world i will explaining this uh, function into detail in some next videos it is just an overview so uh, for the front end we will using we will be using xml so xml is a is the extensive extensible markup language the full form of xml is extensible markup language xml is a markup language that is it use tags so you might have heard about open tag, close tag. So it is a markup language. XML was designed to store and transport data. So it is designed to store and transport the data. XML was designed to be self descriptive. So when we will look into the XML part, we will find that it is a self, it is self descriptive. We, 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 we don't have to describe the code. Okay, XML is a W3C recommendation okay so now we'll look into the syntax of xml so this is a opening tag so we have opened a tag root in this we have opened a tag child in this we have a tag subchild and then we have some code and then we close the tag subchild and then we close the child child and then we close the tag root so we have uh, learned about opening tag and closing tag now what what are attributes so attributes are the the uh, definition of a tag like um, there is a person whose gender is female so we will define the attributes in the opening tag itself like here root then gender equals to female so person then gender equals to female these are the attributes so thank you for watching this video stay tuned